I always wanted to drive from one side of Canada to another. I recently got a rooftop tent because I thought it would be incredible to camp off the ground while traveling. It is an epic, scenic drive that takes about 5,000 km from Port Colborne, Ontario to British Columbia. I didn't plan on where to stay or what to see on this trip. I'm just flowing to see what is waiting for me on the way. Day 1 I was already getting late, so I decided to drive just a couple of hours and find somewhere to camp. Torrance Barrens Dark Sky Preserve is only 2 hours and 40 minutes away from downtown Toronto. Designated as a conservation reserve in 1997, this reserve was quickly identified as one of the best places to view the night sky and was there just before sunset. I made hot cacao to warm up a little since it got chilly later. Unfortunately, there were so many mosquitoes, even though I used box spray, they continued to bother me. Good morning. We just woke up. There's so many mosquitoes here. It's almost 6 a.m. and they're still here. They never left. I found a spot to sleep just beside the road. Even though it said no overnight parking, I did park my car to sleep. I got back on the road and drove non-stop for two and a half hours. I was getting tired and got a call for a stop. I took a break at Lake Laurentian Conservation Area and hoped to swim. We found this place after we left our campsite. This place is located in Sudbury. Look at this gorgeous land. We climbed a little bit and found those rocks. I think I'm just gonna do a dipping. It was a lovely place with a beautiful lake and nature. Unfortunately, it was not allowed for swimming. I was very disappointed. The water looked very clean though. So I just googled it and found a swimmable beach nearby. It's just gonna take about eight minute drive and I'll be able to swim a little bit. It's really nice weather outside. It's not too cold or it's not too hot. I haven't eaten anything since I woke up. I found picnic tables close to Tim Hortons to prepare breakfast. I couldn't find that beach that I was looking for and I was so hungry. That's why I came here somewhere close to Tim Hortons. pulled over the car because I was feeling so sleepy. I think I'm gonna take a quick nap, maybe five minutes, and then I'm gonna continue driving because this is so exhausting. <laughs> Just keep going and going. And my eyes were kind of closing. <sighs> I drove four more hours and found Harmony Beach. It is a stunning beach not so far from the highway. I looked up on Google Maps before heading here. Finally, I made it to the beach! It's very chilly here and also windy. It looks like it just rained because the sand is wet. <sighs> oh my goodness, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna swim today. I drove a little more, I started feeling so hungry. I stopped right after Harmony Beach and had food at the restaurant. Locals at the restaurant told me about the halfway point and the waterfall. Thought it could be cool to check it out. Chippewa Falls is a popular rest stop there's a flag that marks the halfway point of the Trans-Canada Highway. Easy access to the waterfalls. When I was setting up my tent, I got attacked by those mosquitoes again. They have no mercy. I didn't know these many mosquitoes existed in Ontario. I covered myself and used the natural box spray, but nothing really worked. I ran away from that campsite as soon as I got up. I started driving. On the way, I saw a sign of a shower. I thought I was dreaming. This place called White Lake, there's so many showers. There's not just one or two showers. Actually, I see one, two, three, four, five. 
I think more than five showers in one spot. That was a really nice shower. Uh, I'm so glad that I found this place. Notice this wonderful viewpoint right next to the road where some people park their cars. This place is surrounded by wildflowers and it has picnic tables to rest. It was such a nice place to have a break. These stops are helping me continue driving. Going on a road trip like this is so amazing but at the same time very tiring to be focused and not be able to move around all the time. I stretched out a little bit and headed back to driving. I drove a couple more hours and reached this waterfall. It was a stunning waterfall. I wish to have more energy to go on a hike and get closer to the waterfall. But it was not going to happen on this trip for sure. stop at Terrace Bay. This plaza has a lot of shops to get some coffee and food and a lookout. I had a long break here to charge my camera and my laptop. I had great coffee and bagels. Just drove 30 more minutes more and found this hidden gem. I took a rest and had a long break to chill by the stunning lake. Read something and made a flower crown after seeing those orangish flowers again. This place is great to spend the day away from the noise. I had a lot of quiet time by myself. I stayed in these peaceful moments for a while. I thought about the challenges I've been through on this journey. After all, I found this calm place to stay present with myself and nature. So I was just hanging out on the beach and then I saw those flowers. They're like orange-ish and I really like them. I've seen those in the other place as well. I think I took a photo of them too. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make a flower crown with them. But there are so many viewpoints on the road. So I'm just gonna stop myself from just making a lot of stops on the road because there are really beautiful viewpoints in every second. a free campground that offers a gorgeous view of the bridge and the lake. I saw some people paddle boarding and kayaking. There's also a boat lounge. I stretched out a little, made hot cacao and watched the seagulls and different types of birds flying. I was looking for somewhere more private with fewer people to camp, so I started driving to find a campground nearby. I found this gorgeous spot to camp, however, the mosquitoes didn't give me a moment to enjoy the outdoors. I packed everything up and headed back to that previous campground, since there were fewer bugs. This campground was not too bad. It is quiet. It also has a trail for a walk, washrooms, and many empty spaces for RVs and large trailers. I 
headed back to driving. I was feeling a bit tired from sitting in the car all day. I looked out for a short trail to move my muscles a little. I came across this provincial park called Sleeping Giant. It was kind of on my way with a 30 minutes delay, but I didn't mind it. I went on one of the shortest trails called Sea Lion. The name of the trail is inspired by the former shape of the natural arc. It is a short and easy hike to a rewarding view of Lake Superior. This provincial park has a fee of $15.50 for day use. After the hike, I drove about 600 km and started looking for a campsite. When I was looking for a nice spot, I saw cars parked by a lake to check out if I was able to sleep overnight, but there was a sign that said no. Today, I drove maybe more than 700 km. Uh, I still did a lot of things. I stopped by a lot of lakes and I did a hike. And then I had Domino's pizza, which I regret all the time after eating it. Um, it's, it does something to my stomach because I'm not used to eating outside so much. It's almost sunset. I'm just going to go set up my tent and then watch the sunset a little bit and maybe read a book, write something down. I found this gorgeous lake to watch the sunset. I was getting close to Manitoba border, but there was nowhere to park. I was already so exhausted from driving. And then, no surprise, I saw Walmart. <sighs> I couldn't be happier than this. I parked my car and slept in the car. I didn't even have the energy to pop out the tent. I made it to the center of Canada. I cannot believe it. It felt like an endless drive. I still have a lot to go, but I'm still so proud of myself to come this far. It has been definitely a long journey. These two days felt like two years. 